Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to use Microsoft Excel in performing some descriptive statistics for our data set. Are you ready? Let's begin. So before, if we wanted to compute for some descriptive statistics like the mean, standard deviation, the maximum, the minimum value, or the range of a data set, then we had to learn each formula for these values in Excel. So we had to enter each formula in one cell, then select the data set again and again to be able to compute for each of those values, just like for this data set. Okay, so these are the entrance exam scores of 18 college freshman students. If I want to compute for the mean of this data set, then I had to know about the formula for the mean in Excel. So the formula is average. So I had to select the values for which I want to compute for the average for, and then enter so that I can get the mean of this data set. So the mean is 77.78. Okay, so this is the mean. If I want to compute for the standard deviation, I needed to type in another formula. So the formula for standard deviation is this one and then had to select have to select the values again and then click enter so to get the standard deviation now if i want to get the maximum then i need to type in max So, so for each descriptive statistics, I need to know each formula, okay? So there are so many other descriptive statistics that we can use. But this time, there's an easier way to perform some descriptive statistics not just compute for the mean standard deviation or maximum or minimum value, but other descriptive statistics as well, okay? So what we need is to use the data analysis tool pack. So do we have that tool pack here? So let's check. So under data, under the data menu, let's see under X, we should see here, data analysis but it's not here so it's not available so how can i have the data analysis tool back so i need to click file and then go to options and then i'll be given these options i'll go i'm going to choose add-ins then choose analysis tool back and then click go. So I'll be opening a window where I need to check analysis tool pack and analysis tool pack VBA and then click OK. Again, I'm going to repeat that process. So again, click file, click file, and then options, then Click add-ins, choose analysis tool pack, then go, then check analysis tool pack and analysis tool pack VBA, then click OK. So now I have here the data analysis tool pack, which I can now use. Hey, so if I click this, 
I will be given a wide range of choices. What do I want to do with my data set? Do I need to have a single factor ANOVA, a two factor ANOVA, a correlation, covariance? So today we're going to choose descriptive statistics. Again, we're going to choose descriptive statistics. So click OK. So what is my input range? So my input range would be the percentage scores, the percentage scores of the college freshman students. Okay, so the entr their entrance exam scores. So I want to include the column title, the label in the first row. So I'm going to choose from the percentage score, the title percentage score, column heading, and then click choose up to the last percentage score. Again, so this is my data set. Okay, so I have already chosen this date, this range. Then I need to click columns, labels and first row. Then where do I want to see the output? Do I want it in this sheet, in this worksheet or in another worksheet line? So I just choose the other worksheet line. And then what do I want? The, the Microsoft Excel to do to give me some summary statistics. I need to click this as well. And then click okay. So again you choose choose the input range. So from percentage score to the last percentage score from the column heading and then click columns and then label in first row. The output train the output would be in another worksheet and I need Microsoft Excel to give me the summary statistics. Then I'm going to click OK. So I have here the descriptive statistics for my data set. So I have a mean of 77.77778 or I can just use 77.78. Now the standard error is 2.17. But the standard deviation is 9.22. I also have here the median and the mode. The sample variance, the kurtosis, skewness, the range, minimum and maximum values, the sum and the count. So do I need everything? Do I need all of these? So no, so I just need to make another table, okay? So when you present your information, you don't need to present all the information that you have gathered. You need to, to determine which information are important. So I, ha I want to just to, sh to show the mean and standard, standard deviation maximum and minimum values for the entrance exam scores.
of college freshman students. Okay, so this, this is my title, my table title. So I'm going to write mean standard deviation maximum and minimum value and then enter and then copy the values that I need And then have some borders. Right. Okay, so this will be my table. So this is my table the back table. Okay. So this is the descriptive statistics.